Riled Kitty. <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Riled Kitty, and today we are going to be playing The Silent Age. This is part seven, and we are on chapter seven, <laughs> The House. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping and the chapters and the parts lined up. Oh yeah. So we've done. I, I think in the very first chapter we went a teeny little bit into chapter two because we couldn't stop it, but otherwise, eh. otherwise we've been stopping each part at the end of the chapter. So, like RK said, the house. Last time we got to the island, where the scientist or the time travel traveler's house uh, apparently is, and we sawed his door down with the chainsaw. Yeah, and we, and we fed Nemo to a crocodile. Oh, I miss him. It's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so chapter seven, the house. After crossing water, breaking down barriers, and outwitting unfriendly wildlife, Joe has gained entrance to Lambert's house. Now all that's left is to confront him. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. So we assume that a younger version of himself is still alive here. Is that that's the idea? Mm. Turn the volume up a little bit. A weird idea. All right, more abstract paintings. Hmm. It's a triangle made of cubes going in circles. There's like a star in the middle too. It's kind of cool actually. Lamp. It's a lamp. Huh. <laughs> Nothing interesting. Broken door. Let's let's admire our handiwork. Boy, I really did a number on that door. Hmm. Yeah. It's a triangle, but it it is going in circles. Going in circles also. Hmm. Hmm. It's a painting of a bunch of stacked cubes. I actually can't tell which one is at the top. They all seem to be. Alright, anything else? Nope. Ooh, I like this guy's house. Alright, small shelf. This is nice. Um... Nothing in here of any interest. Starburst clock. <laughs> oh boy. This guy's got style. I agree. I like it. Mm-hmm. Wine opener. All right. Probably will come in handy. Looks like an M.C. Escher sketch. Not a curve in it. Say, but it goes in circles. No matter how many times I walk those steps with my eyes, they always end up in the same place. Stack of books. It's pretty dark in here, but I'm positive these are all the same book. Really thick ones, too. I doubt Lambert will miss a few. else on the bookshelf just by the thickness of most of these i can tell they aren't for me for some reason he's got a lot of copies of the same book it's like a missing gun above the fireplace it's like there used to be a rifle mounted here oh where is it now that would really help light up this room it's a good question rk i don't know who's got the gun i don't know if i want to know piles and piles of books can barely make it out, but it looks a lot like the other paintings in here. It's a grand piano. Still a piano. <laughs> Alright, what am I supposed to do? So I have a wine opener and a bunch of books. Uh, yeah, it doesn't give you much information there. Hmm. Can I go out here? No? So it seems like What's he wants that red thing in your inventory again. It's a wine opener. It oh. Seems like he wanted me to like light the fire. It looks like, like Hardly Quinn's hammer or something. <laughs> like I can to see bust that. down another door. Yeah, I can see that being like a giant hammer. I see you bust down another door. Yeah, so I missed this drawer before. I could try to bust down another door. Maybe I use the wine. How much here? Except oh, matches. Well, that'll light the fire. There's only one left. Better not waste it. Yeah, better not. He probably is. All right, let's let's light up the fire. One match left in the box, so I've only got one shot at this. There's got to be something dry around here I can use for tinder. Well, let's use these books. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Wow, those old books really did the trick. All right, so now I've got light. Fire. Warm and cozy. So where is this guy supposed to be? So I guess I couldn't see this rug before. Is that the one thing that... Nice. 
Wait a minute, there's something under here. <gasps> oh! Could I use a corkscrew to open it? I'm not even gonna try without it. Oh, it worked. All right, we're going down to the basement. All right, hopefully that's... Oh, I don't... Hopefully that's not the end of chapter seven. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> I was worried this was gonna say, it was gonna say chapter eight, the wine cellar. <laughs> All right, drawings. Looks like floor plans for the house with a lot of handwritten notes. It seems like Lambert is planning a lot of renovations. Huh. Right, wine. This looks. There's like one bottle missing. Heck of a lot of wine. There's one missing. Yeah. It's a lot of wine for just one guy. Can't look at that empty spot though. Hmm. Hmm. There's a bottle missing. Oh, there he said it. All right, can I go through here? That seems sus. Like, why that specific bottle? Mm-hmm. Well, there was one upstairs too. Oh. When I got the wine opener. Jeez, what's that thing? Is that a time, time machine? Tanning bulb? Oh. I guess even scientists want to look their best. These shelves are full of electronics parts. Blueprints? They're blueprints for a time machine. I don't exactly have an engineering degree, but I'd say, but it says so in the drawings. Man, I've been in this job for too long. I can't even walk by a trash can anymore without checking if it needs emptying. I can put this tanning light bulb in the lamp, I guess. I don't know why I'd do that. Mm. The bulb's no. too big, okay. Huh. -uh. Spherical contraption. Very sciencey. Never seen anything like it. It looks like a diving bell or a submarine. What am I missing in here? It gotta be something. And that's something I have no idea what it is. Come on, RK, you got this. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I do. You don't? I don't. Right, so that door is locked. Let's go upstairs again. I wonder what I use this tanning light bulb with. Can I use it with this lamp? Oh, oh that worked. Hey, my time it's machine's working. Bright. Oh, nice. That started up my time machine because it was like oh. the right spectrum. What the heck? Um... Well, I have an axe. Can't reach it from here. Those vines. Those are some tough vines. Oh, well, this is interesting. Yeah. Your chainsaw hole. <laughs> it's still there in the future. It looks like he never renovated his house. Hmm. Probably because he's dead. All right, let's see here. What happens oh. if I go to the future? Holy cow. What the heck is going on in here? Oh my, what the? It's an empty barrel. Now, what is this? Mm hmm. It looks like some kind of water collection system. Okay, nothing I can do. Raised beds. Vegetables. This must be how he survived for so long. So he survived all those years with, with a door with a giant chainsaw hole in it? Looks like mm -hmm. it's been a while since it, it saw any use. Looks like carrots. There's a stick. Vegetables. I'm gonna pick up that twig. Dry twig, I guess I'll pull I'll put stranger things to or I put stranger things to good use. Ah. Barely butchered that line. Alright, let's see what else we got. Trap door. Can't get a grip on it. Okay, so let's just go back. So we need something to get the axe out of there. I don't know if I like smash this door down with the axe then. Oh, what the heck? It's a lot different. Fire extinguisher.
There's enough food here to survive for a month. I didn't read exactly what it said on the fire extinguisher. I missed it because I... Dang. I don't know why I got distracted for a second. <laughs> looked like it said it was lighter maybe than it huh. should be. Huh. What, why does that before. mean anything? Well, that's interesting. There's a door here behind like those wine shelves. Oh. It does interest me. There's enough food here. Okay, so same line there. All right, anything else we can grab? All right. Let's go in the time machine room. So apparently he put in a bunch of steel doors, but he just left the chainsaw door. Oh man, this is cool. I think it's like ready to go now. Wow. Man, this is really something. According to those other blueprints, this was Lambert's first version of the time machine. It looks completely abandoned though. Does it? It looks pretty good. The Mark II, this drawing is really complicated, but the outline of it looks a lot more like the machine I have. Floor plans. It's a bunch of drawings and floor plans of a big building. Wait, I recognize this. It's my workplace. This is Archon. Ah, I got the lid off. It's full of oil. What an oily stick. Hey, it actually worked. I don't know why I even thought to do that, but... Huh. Fire extinguisher is probably the last thing I want to be... Fly oh, flammable. I can light the stick on fire. How do you how do you know what that's flammable? Well, he just said that he doesn't want the fire extinguisher to be flammable, so... Oh, I know, but how does he know that's going to make that the weird acid stuff is going to make it flammable? I guess because it's oil. Well, that okay. wouldn't necessarily... Be super flammable versus like gasoline. All right, it's a small photo lab. This equipment isn't the kind you see in stores. It looks really expensive. Oh, so now I have a stick I guess I can light on fire. Well, light it on fire then. I kind of want to see if I can like get behind this now. I suppose I'll just have to drink all the wine. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> it's locked into this door used to be wood yeah I think it I think it did Joe huh. so I guess I can put the stick in the fire maybe and get a burning. but he did renovate it then so oh. I have a burning stick All right, what do I want to do with a burning stick <laughs> I have no idea. What do I do with it? It's me. There's something I could light on fire. And how how does he keep that in his pocket? I don't know. Oh, maybe the vines burn the vines. Oh. Let's see if that works. Ah, oh, you're in the fire, Joe. Get out of there. <laughs> I'm not sure I thought this through. All right, just grab the axe. Oh, what genius. Oh, fire extinguisher. Oh, now I, now my, shoot. I need to fill this thing with water somehow. Um, what? All right, there we go. So I'm not sure that's quite how a fire extinguisher works, but... Yeah. Alright, now I got an axe. I have a feeling I can maybe break a door down with that now. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, the wood door in the basement. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Got it right. Now let's try it. Bust another door down. <gasps> yeah, Joe. That's the second. That's his. Keep that's part up of his door doors. busting streak. Oh, there's another little Nemo in there. Yeah, that's the same one. He's still alive. All right, plants. It's a couple small trees. Painting. Pretty. Abstract painting. No matter how many times I walk those steps with my eyes, they always end up. That's the same one we looked at before. Lava lamp. I'm gonna take that. Nice. Ooh, Man, I'd I take that home. These. All right, anything over here? Globe. 
No astronomer, but I'm pretty sure that's the moon up there. It's a globe of the moon. Couple notebooks here. March 11, 1971. I prepared a logbook to document my progress. This is just in case something happens to me and someone else needs to continue my work. Hmm, I wonder. It's been just under a month since I left Archon. From what, I, what little I've heard, they seem to be pushing ahead with more time travel trials, despite all the setbacks. Fools, every last one of them. Any more? Someone's taking good care of this fish. Lambert has to be around here. Alright, let's go back to the future. Electrical socket. What do I plug in the lava lamp? <laughs> there's a, hey, there's a bottle here? Wine bottle. Oh, I'll put that into that empty spot now, I bet. July 18th, 1972. No progress this week. Two months of cold nights since that imbecile broke my bedroom door. And last night I nearly got mauled by a bear, so I finally caved in and built something. I'd like to see him blunder his way through these. Still, I must admit, he gives uh, an entirely new meaning to the term idiot proof. <laughs> I wonder who did that. <laughs> was he referring to me? Probably. Kind of. I was trying to read it as fast as I could. And I missed what he said about this bottle again, too. No matter how many times. I, okay, same thing there. Bed. I'd probably be pretty grumpy if I slept in a bed this hard every night. I can't even unlock it from this side. All right. Let's see if we put that wine bottle back in here. If it opens like a secret door. Be pretty cool. Nice. The secret passage behind the shelves. Is this chapter eight? Oh my gosh! Look who it is! Stop right there. Whoa, whoa, wait. Uh, Mr. Lambert, sir, it's me, Joe. I don't know you. What are you doing in my house? Y you, you sent me here, remember? I've done no such thing. For an intruder, you're not very bright, you know that? For all the commotion you caused getting in here, you might as well have brought a bulldozer. <laughs> now, you have exactly five seconds to explain what you're doing here. Or so help me God, I'm pulling this trigger and sending you on your way. Five. I, I, I was sent here. Four. By you. Three. You told me to find you, to warn you about the end of the world. Two. You were old, uh, with white hair, and you got shot. Oh, God, please don't shoot me, Mr. Lambert. This, this, you gave me this. Uh, it's an inter-something uh, chrono. It's a time machine. I gave you that? You got convinced him. Yes! I've never seen anything like it. But on the back, that's my family signet. I made this? It's simply magnificent. I gave this to you? Why? Who are you? Name's Joe, sir. I, I'm, I'm just a janitor at the Archon building. I found you in a room with a big, round door in the basement labs this morning, and you, you were dying. You said you'd come from 40 years in the future to stop the end of the world. I, I, I guess I was the only one around, so you gave me this and told me to find you and tell you all this, and I've been there. The future, I mean. A bunch of times. And you were right, Mr. Lambert. Everyone's gone. My God, so it did come to pass. They really did it, those greedy goddamn bastards. I told them this would happen. Wait, I was dying? How? You said you'd been shot. I had to actually find you at the, uh, uh, the morgue to get this address. Shot? By whom? No, wait. Don't say anything else. You succeeded in finding me, which means anything you tell me from this point on could alter the course of action that brought you to my doorstep. The less I know, the better. So... You've seen the future. What did you see? It's like a bad dream, sir. Everyone's gone. Buildings are coming apart. It's all just quiet. What happened, Mr. Lambert? 
It is Doctor, Doctor Lambert. And considering all the effort you just went through to find me, not to mention bearing witness to the horrific outcome of the biggest breakthrough in the history of science, I suppose I owe you some kind of explanation. It's gonna end there, isn't it? I was 24 oh, when I got hired by Archon. Still going. Or Athena, as it was called back then. Athena was one of the many weapons R&D companies formed during the Second World War. Unlike other R&D companies that had retooled themselves to pursue peacetime activities after the war, Athena had made enough money to continue chasing... Look, there's, the a, there's a riled thing, kitty in there. Defense technologies. <laughs> They were betting the farm on post-war Soviet expansion, raising the level of government paranoia to create a lucrative market for esoteric weapons research. I'd say they made the right Are they going to send that kitty to the future? Still a theoretical physicist at mm -hmm. MIT, my thesis on the possibility of time travel via dimensional membranes got published shortly after I was hired in 1961. Company heads were so impressed, they gave me a team and a budget. Development exceeded even my own expectations. And after only six years, we had the first primitive version of the time machine up and running. Go, kitty, go. Oh, you didn't get to see what happened to him. <laughs> Oh. Our first successful trials involved sending simple objects into the future with a timed return. But with Archon running out of money, that was all the company bigwigs needed to secure a big fat contract with the Department of Defense. Apparently, we had sold them on the idea that the technology could be used to go back in time and strangle communism in its cradle. The reality, of course, was that it couldn't. Due to the laws of causality, you can't travel back in time beyond the point where time travel was invented. And sooner or later, we had to explain that to our benefactors. When they started pushing for progress reports, Archon management had to come clean, but instead chose to ease government concerns by claiming the technology could be used to bring back advanced weapons from the future. But this, too, was a lie. Heck At this point, here. we'd already had our first of many human trials, and we knew there would be no weapons. In fact, our results were as terrifying as they were baffling. Time pilots returned frenzied and confused, raving about empty streets and human remains. That sounds familiar. At first, we assumed the city had suffered a Soviet attack in the near future and had been evacuated as a result. But as we pushed on further, the terrible reality became clear. Time pilots started returning fatally ill, dying within a day or two from painful convulsions. Some never returned. We lost several pilots, machine prototypes, and other equipment. When the first contamination erupted in the lab, we were completely unprepared, losing three lab technicians to what we later identified as an incredibly aggressive airborne virus. Although we weren't equipped to handle biohazards of this magnitude, management insisted we contain and study it. To keep our pilots and the virus alive long enough to study, we co-opted experimental cryotechnology from another project, Lazarus, and established a makeshift virus lab. Once again, the bigwigs managed to spin our setbacks into a success story for the Department of Defense now claiming that the virus could be cultivated for use as a biological weapon. The team threatened to resign, but outrage was swiftly quenched by promises of massive salary increases and stock options. I didn't take the bribe. I'd witnessed the lethal efficiency of the virus firsthand. I knew there was only one way this was going to end, 
So I handed in my resignation and set up shop out here. For over a year, I've been working to recreate the technology to bring me back in time and prevent mankind's extinction from ever happening. And now you're here, the harbinger of doom at my doorstep, wearing a boiler suit. Who could have imagined that Judgment Day would begin like any other Monday in May? In any case, unfathomable as it may be that you were able to bring this information to me, knowing is only half the battle. Preventing the outbreak will require more than just your tenacity. Me? Wait, what? Yes, I'm afraid I must rely on you one more time. You must go back to Archon and prevent the outbreak. No, no, that that's, uh, I mean, I'm really honored and everything, but... Believe me, you're the last person in the world I want to entrust with this, and I mean that quite literally. But by this time tomorrow, the entire city will have succumbed to chaos, panic, and death. You're here now, and you're all I've got. Wait, but what about you? Can't you fix this, Doc? Don't you have a plan? I can't go myself, because that would break the law of causality. The only reason you are here to warn me now is because I was there to send you. And the only reason I was there to send you is because I was able to bring my work to fruition here. But... We have no time to waste. It's the only way. You told me you found me this morning, correct? Yes, but... That means I failed to stop it, and the outbreak has already begun. The time pilot for today's trial must have brought the virus back from the future, which then somehow got out of the containment chamber and spread. That pilot is patient zero. I need you to destroy the supercomputer system controlling the time machine. All the research data is stored there too. You must destroy it before the time machine departs. I'm reconfiguring your device to send you back one day earlier. This should allow you ample time to return to Archon and get inside. On the other shore from here, about 500 yards down the road, is a rest stop. You'll find a van there, fueled and ready to go. Oh, I already have a ride. Which won't be there yesterday, you ninny. Now stop interrupting me. One last thing. And I need you to listen carefully because this is very, very important. Make sure you do not meet the earlier version of you. Why? What will happen? No one knows for sure. It's one of the conundrums not yet accounted for. There are theories, of course. None of them pleasant. Now, let's get you ready. That was quite the cutscene. Mm-hmm. It's still going? How did I get myself into this? I nearly got killed trying to reach Dr. Lambert, thinking he had a plan. And it turns out it's me. I'm the plan. At least I don't have to walk back. This van's not as cool as the ambulance, but it has its charm. And it sure was nice of him to pack me lunch. I wish he'd pack me a can opener for the beans, though. And some gas for the Bunsen burner. Beans. I'm sure I'll think of something. I've got several hours of driving ahead of me hey, after Joe, all. Hey, Joe. You managed to get those It'll beans be open? Before you, can make, you can get your own gas. <laughs> I just hope I have enough time. Good joke, RK. Yay. <laughs> uh... Jeez, it's still going. This is crazy. How is it still? Oh no, never mind. Chapter eight. Yep. And now I've been saying I've been saying Archon when it's Archon. So, whoopsie. <laughs> Learned my lesson. Archon? Archon, I guess, is oh. how they say it. So, well, we're gonna stop there. That was quite the part seven. Yeah. That was actually our longest part yet, I think, for Silent Age. Really? So yeah, because oh, yeah, that true. super long cutscene at the end. Well, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Leave us a comment. Oh, yeah. Share it with a friend. Oh, yeah. Consider subscribing. Oh, yeah. So every time we post something, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
But most importantly of all, come back soon for part eight. Oh, yeah. I'm Hag Baby. I'm Riled Kitty. You're watching. Riled Kitty. And we'll catch y'all soon in something new. Bye. Bye.